and now the floor goes to NGO. If you could kindly introduce yourself, sir. The floor is yours. Can you hear me? Yes. Right. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'm speaking about the Great Barrier Reef of Australia under Agenda 7B. My name is John Verron. I am former Chief Scientist of the Australian Institute of Marine Science. It has been my privilege in my life to have identified and named a fifth of the world's reef coral species. It has been the tragedy of my life to realize that no one living today will experience the majesty, the majesty of coral reefs as I have. In the two years since the committee last examined the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area, 49% of its corals have died due to global mass coral bleaching events. Mr. Chair, coral bleaching is the most visible evidence of climate change. There is no doubt that in the past two years, the outstanding universal value of the Great Barrier Reef has been severely diminished. I commend the work of IUCN, UNESCO, and this committee in recent years to secure significant outcomes to build the resilience of the reef. This year's draft decision should be supported. The World Heritage Center rightly identifies that implementing strong laws in the reef catchments that clean up farm water pollution and stop excessive tree clearing are vital. But sadly, the last two years have shown that the impacts of climate change are vastly outpacing local management efforts. Mr. Chair, climate change is a global phenomenon. Every country must do its fair share to keep global temperature rise above, below 1.5 degrees. Australia is not close to doing its fair share. If all countries make the same level of effort as Australia in reducing emissions, global temperature will rise by three to four degrees by the end of the century. This would kill all reef corals worldwide. Australia is also actively supporting a proposal to develop one of the world's largest coal mines next to the Great Barrier Reef. To be a true custodian of this global treasure, I urge this committee to call on Australia to dramatically lift its level of ambition to reduce carbon pollution and to cease support for dirty fossil fuel development. Thank you all. Thank you, sir.